John Airy here with AndyCool.com, coming to you from the 2012 Austin Comic Con here in Austin, Texas. Had the chance to sit in on the Q&A session for Lou Ferrigno, where he talked about his time uh, as the Hulk on television, what it was like to show up in the makeup on Mr. Rogers, and a few other topics. My question is this, Marvel versus DC, the Hulk versus Superman, you versus Dean Cain, who would win in an arm wrestling contest? <laughs> Do you think I'm going to say Superman? <laughs> You're green and radioactive, so I figure you can take him down. <laughs> well, you know, it's funny. Superman was my idol growing up. Really? And it's funny. I used to read Superman, whole comics and everything. So it's funny. One time in my life when I was a kid, when you are young, I really thought that Superman could fly. So one time I had a red cape I put around my neck, mm -hmm. and I jumped out the first story of my house. I just came landing on the concrete and broke my leg. That was the end of Superman. <laughs> so I have to have to favor more towards the Hulk. So <laughs> thank you. Good question. <laughs> Go ahead. Tell, okay. Well, what he wanted to know is about your makeup and the Hulk. How long well, it took? And the makeup, you know, taken like the three and a half hours, four hours. They used uh, pancake makeup, but the face they used uh, grease makeup because of the perspiration, because they have the the appliances like the nose and the forehead piece and they use spear gun glue. And the process for the face taking them like an hour and a half. Now the body, they use like five or six coats of makeup. They would get like a ball of clay, of, um, a pancake makeup. So I would stand there with green underwear with my arms outstretched, <laughs> and you know, to wipe me down. So, and then afterwards, then they put the wig, which was made out of yak hair from the Chinese mule, yak, then the eyes and teeth. I had to endure, endure wearing that makeup like 14 or 16 hours a day. Plus, it would take an hour to remove it. And the funny thing is sometimes we have bad weather condition, they would just say, listen, go home. And I would be disappointed because I would, do it. I would get made up into this beautiful character, and then it just had to repeat it the second day or the, or the third day. But it was tough because a lot of times I had to be retouched all day. That was, the hard, that was the difficult process. Like that. Um, yes, sir. My question is, what is it like to be the Hulk? You know, it was a lot of fun because when I first got made up as the Hulk, I felt so weird because I had all this makeup on, the eyes, but it's funny that every time I did a scene on the set, the crew would clap because they just loved the character. But I couldn't see myself as the character. But I knew when they finished the makeup, the character was beautiful. But what I really enjoyed by playing the Hulk with that, I was really the Hulk my whole life. I had a lot of anger in myself, anger issues, all my demons. So I had a chance to express all that playing the Hulk. It was a lot of fun. I got to smash a lot of bunch of stuff and I have to pay for it. Uh, my name is Chris. Chris. One of my favorite things when I was a kid was an episode of Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood where he came onto the set and hung out with you and uh, Bill Bixby. And I was wondering if you have any interesting memories or stories from that visit. About Mr. Rogers? Mm -hmm. I watched him when I was young. I thought he was kind of weird because he always come on the, <laughs> the show with his jacket and he would talk like this, mm -hmm. very stuff. <laughs> so, I mean, he was wonderful with children. And I, I was a big fan of his because the way he uh, conveyed, the way he explained everything. Mm -hmm. So when he came on the set, I was in the middle of running to uh, the football field. I was doing like, a, it was like 105 degrees and I was like huffing and panting. <laughs> so I had a chance to meet him. And he looked at me, I'll never forget when he shook my hand, I think he got scared of me. Yeah. But I'm in the makeup and said, Mr. Rogers, how you doing? <laughs> you know, I was like overbearing and everything. So it was a good experience, he had a chance to spend time with me in the motorhome, and then we talked about uh, the Hulk and everything. But that's probably today one of the most well-seen, the longest seen, most popular TV show. Because people remember that show for us like, because the legacy of the Hulk now is like over 30 years, and it's still is remembered by many, many people. Mm. Anything that you maybe wanted your characters, the Hulk, to do, but uh, never got to do and your, for your character? Was there anything that uh, maybe you wanted to do as a well, character? Well, I wanted to do to the do. voice in the TV series. And basically, back then, they wanted to keep it, uh, the character the way it is, because I felt that if I had able to do the voice for the TV series, it would make the Hulk even more believable, because I created that character. He was primitive. The way he would drink soda, he'd be very sloppy. And they just, they, they, they just told me to do your own thing. Now, um, that's why eventually I did the voice of the animated cartoons like Later in Light. Mm -hmm. That's the only thing I would regret. But I don't know if you know that 
the real name is Bruce Banner. CBS decided to call it David Banner for the right. TV series because they felt that Bruce sounded gay. <laughs> Believe it or not. So now it's back to Bruce Banner. But that was the mentality back in the 70s. That was universal. But uh, if I had the chance to do the voice, I think it would have been uh, have a much more impact and also show more of the Hulk because everyone will watch the show like 815, 845 because they want to see the Hulk. <laughs> the 845, you see the second Hulk out. Uh, hey, yeah. I, growing up, I absolutely loved your version of Hercules. Uh, I was hoping you could tell us uh, some good Hercules stories from the set. Well, I, I was approached to do Hercules. I was excited because I was a big fan of Hercules. And, you know, my ancestors come from Italy. My grandparents, I'm off of Italy. So I had the chance to be there because we didn't have to build many sets because we used the ruins, you know, where we filmed for the location. It was, a, it, was a, uh, it was great because of the fact that it, it was a connection back in the Far East Hercules. I had a chance to show the other side of Hercules, both like my physicality and the fight scenes and everything. I filmed it just after the series was uh, canceled, the Hulk. Definitely I've done over 40 feature films because I even ended up falling into a comedy, which I like to do like The King of Queens, the movie, I Love You, Man. But at the time, I was in my best shape. That's why I wanted to do Hercules, because you know, if I had to play Hercules now, it would be difficult, because I'm, I'm going to be 61, but it's not like 30 years. But you have to really embrace the aging process. That goes all of you. You know, Life is short. We have to cherish our life every day, one day at a time, because uh, we're here for a short time. It's all about maximizing your personal power and embracing fear. That's what I basically teach. And, uh, that's something I've lived my whole life, and I know everyone, they feel the same way one way or another. Mm -hmm.